there are actually a couple of different ways that you can add a link to um, a page. And I just want to show you um, some things that I wasn't able to cover entirely in the chapter. So um, if I wanted to add a link here, I'm just going to, let's just back up and pretend like there's no link in the first place. So I could either select my text, and this is what we've been doing kind of all along. I could select my text and press the browse for file and double click the file, cyanotype.html, and add the link that way. So I'm going to Command Z to undo that. I could also select the text and in the link field type in cyanotype.html and I could press enter or just click out here in the design window and I'll see my href tag there. Command Z again to undo that. I could also just go straight into the code and I'm going to type open bracket A and then I'm going to press space and I'll start to write H and you can see as I start to type A dash a space H, um, I'm given some code hints and there's the href tag right there. So I'm going to double click href and then notice that I get equals with quotes and the browse, um, you know, browse for file kind of helper. So if I double click there, I can go back up and double click my cyanotype.html file. Now if I'm going to do it this way, I need to remember to close my um, href tag bracket and then I also need to remember to close the A tag. All I needed to do was say open bracket slash and it, it Dreamweaver kind of knew that what the tag to close would be the A tag so it did that for me. So I could do this by writing code and you'll see that when you write, you know, when you go to write code in Dreamweaver there's a lot of um, help or assistance that's given to you so you actually don't have to memorize every single thing you just need to kind of have a memory in the vague direction of the right thing um, which is pretty similar to memorizing but at least Streamweaver tries to help you out a little bit. Um, one final method that I want to show is, um, I'm going to again delete the link entirely, okay, is if you wanted to you could also select your anchor, in this case Sanotype Impressions will be the clickable uh, text, and instead of uh, using the Browse for File button down here, you could also use the Point to File um, part of the prop HTML Properties panel. And point to file um, can be helpful, you know, let's say you've got a lot of files, maybe they're all showing over here. It only really works if you can see all of your files. So you, you have to make sure that you're looking at chapter three files. If you haven't done your site setup, you know, you have to make sure that you go in and define your site, make a new site or define your site or manage your sites um, so that you, you're seeing chapter three over here. Um, but then you could select your text and grab point to file. I'm just going to click and drag. And this is going to allow me just to drag and point to a file that I want to link to. And you can see as I roll over these files that the link name changes in the properties panel. So if I click and drag to cyanotype here and just let go, um, that just again allows me to you know, point to the file rather than browse for the file. But some people like using that function um, best of all. So again, I could go and preview my work in a browser. It's always best to see, make sure it's working in the browser. And in fact, there it is the link to the final cyanotype page.